Let's jump straight into it with your market update. Has been a very eventful seven days. Starting off just with the S&P 500, NASDAQ, American Stock Exchange, um, this is a seven-day performance. So the last week, because our last show was exactly a week ago. And as you can see, the markets have pulled back slightly overall in the last seven days. Um, they've had an incredible run. I mean, the NASDAQ is up 40% year on year. That's actually made up of about eight or nine socks that I've really boarded up. But either way, there's been a great year on the markets, normal to have a bit of a pullback. So with the exception of a couple of shares here, Meta is up on the week 1%, 1.5%. Um, Amazon is up 1.27. We've got some healthcare and Lily Johnson & Johnson's up. Um, but overall, everything is down. United Health up 2.5%. Otherwise, everything is down, but not too bad. Um, as far as percentage goes, Berkshire down 1.6%, JP Morgan down 3%, Microsoft down 4.5%, and NVIDIA a similar amount. We've seen the sort of pump that happened from the AI side slowly pull back. But remember, that pump led to NVIDIA going almost to 5x. So there's always going to be a bit of a pullback. We've got Google down 3%. But overall, the markets are doing incredibly well. But it's been a red week, definitely. However, if you look at our friends at crypto, we have had a green week that's been amazing. So if you look at the last seven days, which is what you're looking at now, we've got Bitcoin up 16.4%. Sitting at a $30,600, which is very close to the 2023 high. Um, 2023 high is around $31,000. So really the highest it's been this year currently. Um, you're looking at ETH just under $1,900. And across the board, you're seeing a lot of green. The only one that's down is BNB. Obviously, a lot of uh, fear around Binance because of SEC, um, especially Binance US. I think most people are um, of the um, consensus that uh, Binance US is, is definitely going to have to close down or come to some sort of deal with the SEC, whereas Binance Worldwide will continue as is, and Coinbase is really going to be your big player in the US. That seems to be the consensus. But with the exception of that, absolutely everything across the board seems to be up. If we just look at our bubbles, which is a nicer way to see it, you can see we've done it weekly. We've got the biggest gainer this week, a Bitcoin, then a Bitcoin Cash at 80% up. Then we've got our friends Pepe, the meme coin. So guys are, are hungry for Dijon. Um, we've got Stacks up 30%. We've got Gala Games up 12%. They really dropped in the last, uh, if you look at Gala in the last month, I just want to show you. You can see here, I mean, yeah, they have recovered somewhat, but they've really, really dropped from where they were. They were 0 0.03, and they are now, oh, they've pretty much come back. It's amazing. Amazing, amazing. Um, yeah, so a great, a great time on crypto. If we want to understand why, what is actually going on here, why? Are we having these pumps in crypto? You know, we all know what happened last week when we spoke on the show about the SEC and what's going up and, and, and what's going on there was causing everything to go down. And what has caused this rally? And I think most people will agree and understand that BlackRock filing for a spot BTC e ETF in the United States was really the, the catalyst to this. So BlackRock is by far the biggest um, in the States. And the fact that they've uh, filed for a Bitcoin ETF almost is an unspoken agreement that it's going to happen. It's almost a nod that Congress is going ahead with it. The SEC. Okay. Did you hear? I, I just heard this in my Discord, by the way. And if anyone wants to get in my Discord, just pick up a George Keenum torch. But someone in my Discord told me that it was approved. So, so it seems to be that it that it hasn't been announced, but it seems to be that it is approved because the, the consensus is that BlackRock has insider information. They've yeah. been given a nod by this congressman. Um, and the SEC also wants to appear to be less um, like they hate crypto because they've got to be impartial. At the moment, they're not being impartial. And by allowing BlackRock, who is massive, to have a Bitcoin ETF, yeah. that can maybe in some way 
make the SEC look a little bit less like they're targeting crypto. I think everybody agrees that Bitcoin um, is is not a security. So if anything's got a chance of going through, this does. It does seem to have the approval. And since then, we've seen quite a lot of ETF filings um, from different companies, which also makes it seem like um, they're going to be approved, including Grayscale, who's been trying for a while. But BlackRock is by far the largest asset manager. They've got over $8.5 trillion in assets under management. Um, and they also have said that they're going to utilize Coinbase to custody the Bitcoin um, through this ETF. So ETF is just a tracker that allows people to bet on whether it's going to go up or down. Um, and, and yeah, it's, it's, it's quite bullish for the space and has really been something that has caused this little run that, that we've seen. Um, so we also had Jerome Powell testify before Congress on Friday. Um, and he, he clearly said that he feels that crypto is not going away. Um, he was asked, does he feel that crypto is going away? So it's not like he volunteered that, but he, he did clearly say that he doesn't feel that it's going away. So that was also quite bullish for the space. So overall, those are the two main reasons that we're seeing this. You'd also obviously expect that, you know, just when Bitcoin dropped so badly, a lot of people who were long got eaten. Yeah, a lot of people were short. The general consensus four or five days ago was that crypto was in trouble in yeah. the short term. Yeah. And so a lot of people had Bitcoin shorted. So it's possible that a lot of those just got eaten up. And that could also be accounting for this, um, or at least a part of this rise. Either way, we've got an incredible week on Bitcoin and incredible week on Ethereum and, and on crypto overall. And it's something that I think we should definitely be celebrating and something we should be happy about.